Good day. This presentation on the autumnal equinox was here at Louis Rubido Library, September of 2020. I'm Dr. Michael C. Flores, one of the reference staff here at the library. And this is a presentation on how our cyclical seasons change. Our earth is a wonderful place and so many things happen. We simply don't always pay attention. Today, we'd like to discuss one of those changes. The autumnal equinox is a time in which the Earth is tilting and turning around the sun, a 365 day, one year cycle, just as we turn on our own axis every 24 hours. These cycles define our seasons, our days, our years. The first question we ask is, what is an equinox? The term equinox comes from the Latin and it means equal night. It happens twice each year, once in March and once in September. It is in opposition to the solstices, which are equal days opposite. So summer solstice has the longest days of, of hours of light during the day and winter solstice has the shortest number of hours during the day in light. In all cases, all four issues refer to the sun's rays affecting the seasons. The equinox makes for an equal time of both day and night. The idea is that the sun rays hit directly on the Earth's surface rather than obliquely or indirectly, which we see at solstices and at other times of the year. The oblique or indirect rays often define the extremes, either of winter or of summer. Because of the rays affecting the Earth in such a manner, it makes for an approximate 12 hour light cycle for two days each year. Again, we say it is approximate because in different parts of the planet, things will look differently. The seasons change. For example, this is the fall equinox or autumnal equinox, the first day of fall or autumn. The autumnal or fall season arrives when the second equinox of the year occurs. This indicates the end of the growing season in temperate climates. Temperate climates exist between the Arctic Circle and the Tropic of Cancer in the Northern Hemisphere in the Tropic of Capricorn and the Antarctic Circle in the Southern Hemisphere. The tropical regions are defined being between the two tropics. The four season system is one that exists only in the temperate zones. The tropics have two seasons, wet and dry. In effect, at solstice, you have longest day, shortest night in summer and winter gives us the shortest day and longest night. But in spring and fall, the equinoxes offer an equal day and equal night in hours attained. The equinox is often seen as a cultural marker. And although the examples here are solely from the Northern Hemisphere, because of globalization over the last 500 years or more, we have seen where this actually now affects the entire planet, not just the Northern Hemisphere. For example, in the traditional agricultural realm of Eurasia, we have the notion of the autumn equinox bringing us harvest. And you can see that in the image to your left. However, there's also the concept of New Year's in both the Islamic and Judaic calendars. You have both Ashura and Muharram, this being the end of the year 1441 in the uh, Hijira calendar, and Rosh Hashanah, Shabbat Shuva, Yom Kippur, and Sukkot in the Hebrew calendar, ending the year 5780 and moving on into the next year. Again, these examples do originally come from the Northern Hemisphere, but because of globalization now affect the entire planet. 
Here in North America, the equinox in the sky often defines how we see the sunrise and the sunset, but at the same time, different time zones will affect how we mark it on a clock. For example, you'll notice in the extremes in the north and the northwest of Northwestern Territories, Canada and Alaska, you'll see that sunset is after 8.30 because they are so close to the Arctic Circle and north of it. As opposed to the extreme south and east, notice in the states of Arizona and Sonora, and to the east in Labrador and Quebec, you'll notice that sunset is before 6.30. Again, that has much to do with its time zone rather than its location. Generally speaking, the seven o'clock hour is the norm, and you'll notice that across all our time zones from the Eastern to the Pacific, we have that. Remember that equinox is Latin for equal nights. Remember that the sun is directly over the equator as opposed to sun rays being indirect or oblique on the earth. The tropics, between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn, will have one of two seasons, and generally the equinox is the center of those seasons. However, in the temperate zones in the north, between the Tropic of Cancer and the Arctic Circle, and in the south, between the Tropic of Capricorn and the Antarctic Circle, we find that those temperate zones will have their actual seasons. For those of us here in the northern hemisphere, we will see the fall equinox in mid-September. However, in the Southern Hemisphere, think South America, Southern Africa, and Australia and New Zealand, this is the start of their spring. So their spring starts in September and ends in, uh, and their summer ends in March. That is the major difference. However, in general, we can say that this is a natural occurring element of astrophysics that does affect the planet and that societies then adapt and adopt valid viewpoints to see it as good or bad and to celebrate it as necessary. Thank you very much on behalf of the Riverside County Library System here at the Lewis Rubidoux Library in Harupa Valley, California. We appreciate your patronage. Feel free to look for more of our programs as well as our materials at www.rivlib.net. Thank you and have a wonderful equinox.